At this point, uh, we're going to begin to remove the bottom cover from the printer, uh, which will make uh, access to removing the other components much easier. So first step is this is the eject wheel. This simply just pulls off. Be careful with it and pull that off out of the way. And then we're going to go along the other side here. And you will see the waste ink line connectors, two clips. You want to push those over and remove them. Um, these can also just be cut right here at this point. But it's just uh, your preference because sometimes these can be a little booger of getting off. So we've disconnected those. You'll see a clip that holds them in place. Just make sure it stays in there. Those are disconnected. Now we're going to remove four screws, two on each side. One here, one here. This holds the printer frame to the bottom plastic. And on the other side, we have the same, <clears throat> same deal, two screws. One here, but on this one, the second one is on the inside. And I'll get my screwdriver and point to that screw. It's going to be right here, holds the frame to the plastic. So we're going to remove that. Along with the pressurized uh, ink line, this pressurized ink line comes from the bottom base of the plastic pump up to the ink bay, and it just simply pushes on so you can take your finger, pull it off. That way when you pull the frame up, you're not stretching the hose. So now we'll go ahead and remove those screws. Okay, now that we've removed the four screws that hold the frame to the bottom plastic, <clears throat> we're going to take this metal frame off the bottom plastic, but first we want to make sure that we tape up all these wires out of the way so there's no chance of them being damaged uh, when you're sitting this down. Uh, so this particular wire here, was the paper feed sensor. We no longer use this because we control it electronically. So you want to take that and unplug it from the ASF relay board. Just like that. That's it. And then we want to take these wires and actually neatly fold them up on both sides. Uh, and get everything up out of the way that has the potential to be damaged. Just like this. And then we'll take some masking tape and we'll tape these so they stay up. And we're going to do the same over here for these two wires. You'll have a, a CR motor power wire and you'll have your pump wire. So we're going to fold these up neatly and tape them up out of the way. Okay, now you see we have taped these uh, flat wires and the wires up out of the way so there you can, can't damage them. Uh, try to do it as neatly as possible. And you'll notice the only wire left is this blue, uh, blue connector with the black and white and that's the pump to your pressurized pump. That stays with the plastic base and on this side We've taped up all the wires to the uh, the uh, the um, capping station and the carriage motor. Two sets of wires, as pointed out. So that's out of the way. Now what we'll do is we'll lift this uh, metal frame off the black plastic, and we're going to set the metal frame aside because now we're going to focus on cutting the bottom plastic. Lift this up. Comes off very easily and set it aside. Okay, now you'll see all we have left here is the black bottom base. Uh, our goal is we're taking everything out of the center uh, to accommodate a platen system. The original frame is still going to sit in its original spot but only on two sides. So we have some components to remove from the actual base itself to make the cutting easier. We have one screw here for the waste ink pad. And we're just going to take that off. It's a good idea to keep the patch just for you know your spit tray. You can use this material for um, when you have your DTG completed. Take that to the side. Now we're going to remove all the padding from this side. 
It's not a necessity, but it just makes it easier to handle and cut and when you're working on the printer in the future. This pad just pulls out, it's a wasting pad. Again, I would hold on to that padding. Uh, comes in handy for spit trays. One screw here to remove this waste ink padding line. That comes off. This here is your pressurized pump. That's going to stay in its original place. And now our goal is to remove this center piece. So what we're going to do uh, you can cut this in many different ways. You can use a jigsaw, you can use a Dremel tool. Uh, I found the easiest way and the neatest way is to just score it with a utility. So you're just going to follow this line here, the silver marker, and you're going to score that with a utility knife. And we're going to do the same on this side. Score it with the utility knife. So what we've done is uh, we went ahead and did our marks, uh, like I showed. I've taken just a standard utility knife and scored uh, pretty deeply along those that mark on both sides. Uh, in addition, I've took just regular wire cutters and I've cut these corners here and the ones in the front here on both sides. Uh, so now we should be able to just snap this uh, on both sides and after we snap it at the score then we will clean it up with the Dremel. So we'll go ahead and give this a shot. Breaks off just like that at the score and then we're just going to clean this up with the Dremel, this edge. Same with this side, put it on an edge. Snap it off at the score, and then we're just going to clean that up.